U.S. forces in Iraq are using what some are calling a cruel and unusual tool to break the resistance of Iraqi POWs. And trust me, a lot of parents would agree. Some prisoners are being forced to listen to Barney, the purple dinosaur, sing the I Love You song for 24 straight hours. According to Newsweek magazine, one U.S. operative told Newsweek that he listened to Barney for 45 minutes straight and never once to Every day. To where the air is sweet Can you tell me how to get How to get to Sesame Street Sort of like that It must be a little bit It must be a little bewildering For you to hear that these songs of yours Are being used somehow in Cargo containers in Iraq Well it's not what we expected When we wrote them Let's put it that way but the story claimed that a PSYOPs army company was using the theme from Barney and Sesame Street music and Metallica music, I believe, Enter Sandman, I think was mentioned, uh, to play to prisoners. And a sergeant claimed that due to the cultural differences, and that's what he said, not me, uh, that prisoners would crack, 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 when they heard this music after a while and I guess started spewing all kinds of information. And my first reaction is, oh my gosh, is my music really that bad? And I was kind of horrified by it, to be honest. And do you think the prisoners, as well as giving away vital information, are learning new letters and numbers? Well, wouldn't that be an incredible double win? The way we do Sesame Street in Between the Lines is that we have uh, educational researchers who really test whether these songs and other things we write are working, whether the kids are learning. And one year they asked me to write a song to explain what a mountain is. And I wrote a really silly yodeling song about what a mountain was. And 40% of the kids had known what a mountain was before they heard the song. And after they heard the song, only about 26% knew what a mountain was. So I figured if I have the power to suck information out of people's brains by writing these songs, maybe that's something that could be useful to the CIA for brainwashing techniques. Rock the never, never man.